up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and welcome back to another one of my FIFA videos. Let's go! This is one. Ah, oh, man, I've been, oh, man, I've been working so hard at this, bro. Y'all deserve this, man. I'm about to show you guys the last game of my 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 top 200 run, 28 and two. We nearly 30 and 0. Now this is on the big account. You know we've top 200 on the RTG. I've been chasing it on this account. I want to do it on two different accounts. One pay to win, one rich man. My rich, my, my poor man was easier than my rich man, which is mad because I'm gonna show you guys the team now. When I'm showing you the gameplay, you're gonna see me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk over it until the end where you actually see my live reaction to winning and getting top 200. But I want to tell you guys exactly how I played all of my tips, how you guys can do it, exactly what I use. Now I know you guys are gonna say, well, skills, you use that big team. Uh, you know that big team did everything for you. I've top 200 with an all gold team, pretty much, bros. So. I'm going to give you the tips that I used to be able to do it on this account and on the other account, but most importantly, how I ran this weekend, because this weekend, it was all about attacking football, attacking, attacking. So if you're an attacking-minded footballer and you like playing FIFA real going forward, then listen to this, what I'm going to tell you in this video. Smash a big old thumbs up, guys. We finally did it. I've been chasing this for you guys, man. You guys deserve this. You're the best viewers in the world. Smash that big old thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn your bell on. I'm so happy we did it. And yeah, let's get to talking about how I played this while we watch the final game of our 30 with this big account. Also, the RTG finished really good as well. I finished both accounts. Well, I almost finished the RTG, but either way, it's a dub, baby. All right, y'all. So you're going to be able to see me right there. But you could you listen. You'll, at the end of the video, the, my mic's on. You just don't hear me because I'm not talking. Can you see the stress that's in my face? So... You might think this is a joke, right? But like, I've literally been trying to get this top 200 uh, for so long, right? It's not even like a, it's not, e we've been so close. We've 27, we've 27 and three a bunch of times. We've been so close, right? But this FIFA, and again, what I'm gonna say now, I might repeat at the end because at the end you're gonna see my live reaction, like my live just feelings. And I try to explain to you guys what I did, how I did it. I want to explain it more in depth through the gameplay because I could tell you as I'm playing it now. I'm through I'm I'm mostly in a 4312 um but then I'm a little bit in a 4231. Now the 4231 was used definitely a lot more after I broke the probably the elite stage. Once I got to like about 23 and 2 because I was 18 I was 18 and 1 and that's when we took our second loss, right? So I was I think I got to like I'll show you at the end of the video exactly what we get to. But anyways, so um I'm going to explain to you why it's so deadly on this account and on the RTG what I'm lacking, right? So I will tell you this, do the big players make a big difference? I'd be lying if I told you no, but the top 100 came or the top 200 came on with the all gold team before it came with this, right? And I'll explain why, man, because realistically, it just comes down to you having the right players. So the 4-3-1-2, let me explain why it's so good. First of all, you see me going back and forth, right? My 4-3-1-2 is attacking. My attack is my 4-3-1-2. The defensive is 4-2-3-1. You can see on the pad right there, I'm putting my left back and my right back to get attacking. Okay, so on the RTG, why that's such a problem is because my left back and my right back over there aren't that great. I think Tavernier has good stamina, but then my other left back doesn't really have great stamina. On this account, I have Afonso Davies and I have Trent. You could take my Ronaldo's away. You could take away uh, 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 my Messi. You could take all that away. But the thing I need for the 4-3-1-2 to work is a left back and a right back that can just run the entire game. Why? Because I'm gonna explain this at the end of the video when I, when I talk to you guys. I have to always sub off my left back and my right back on the RTG, okay? Because, and then that's two substitutions you already used, which means now you got one for the midfield or one for the top, depending on how the game's going. So it kind of messes you up there because your left back and your right back are gonna get so burned out from running so much. Also, this guy I was playing was a really, really weird player and I just had a hard time breaking him down. But anyways, going back to what I was saying, 4-3-1-2. Left back and right back constantly going forward, constantly attacking with your left back and your right back, constantly getting them involved. And then your strikers are just looking for the overlap of the left back and the right back. It's kind of weird to say it that way. And that's why I'm telling you, you could take both of my R9, my R9 and my Ronaldo away on the R, like on the RTG. If I could just get Afonso Davies and Trent, then I think we could top 200 easily over there because I want to run the 4-3-1-2. But to run the 4-3-1-2, you, you have to have those left backs and right backs have to be really strong. Also, your midfield needs to be on point. Your front three just doesn't matter. You can do it with El Shirawi. You could, I'm, I'm putting up, I put up the same goals on the RTG with the 4 3 1 2 after I saw Ronaldo than before I saw Ronaldo. My man El Shirawi and stuff, they were they were all cooking. Same thing, same thing. They were cooking the exact same way. No Ronaldo, but El Shirawi, George Best, and Cruyff before it was Ronaldo Cruyff. You, you can go with just regular players, bro. The way I think is the best way to run it, to be honest with you, 
is a deadly number nine. So like if you can get the Ronaldo, but if not, just use a, Ra a Rashford or something. And then Mbappe and Neymar. Mbappe, Rashford, Neymar, Cam. That's money right there, bro. You have speed. You have five-star skills. You have you have weak foots. You're golden right there. That's perfect. Then your midfield is where it starts to get a little bit tricky because you got to find the exact right people. I think Conte would be really good for it. Um, that's what I think it bring to my team. Conte, De Jong's really good for it. Renato Sanchez is really good for it. What, what I noticed that I like to do is have a high medium, a high high, and a medium high. So Conte, your Conte is, your, my Vieira here would be the Conte over there. The the high high, that's your De Jong, which is the Mateus over here. And then um, the high medium is 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 uh, 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 Hullet, who for me would be Tavernier because I like Tavernier in that midfield role. So that's what I'm telling you. I like moving Tavernier to CM to play like a hullet, right? And then that leaves me with a left back and a right back that again, now I'm going to put like a Juan Cancelo there where his stamp's not the best. He's not the best going forward. And you need that, bro. You need players that can go forward. So that's where the trick comes in, all right? Now, the number two thing that I did and that this was really successful, even in games where I knew I was better than my opponent, never underestimate any opponent. Once I scored one or two goals, I switched into a 4-2-3-1. I think right here, yeah, I like right here, I'm in a 4-2-3-1. Ronaldo down the wing, R9 at cam and Hullet at middle cam and Messi at right cam. Hullet at middle cam with Mateus and Vieira behind. Why? Because I was like, you know what? No matter who my opponent is, no matter what the score line is, I'm gonna go into a defensive formation once I take the lead and uh and and just and just shut the game down. That was my strategy from day from game one all the way until the game 30. Just get a couple goals and then go defensive. Now, this is the exact same way that I used to 40 and 0 and get number one in the world in old FIFAs. 4-1-2-1-2 two, two, narrow, constantly attacking, and then once I had a two-goal lead into the 4-2-3-1 to finish the game off, right? Hullet, Vieira, Mateus in that midfield, clogging up that midfield. I mean, that's deadly, bro. There's no, there's no, there's no, there, 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 there's no doubt about that's just something completely deadly, right? So that's the number one thing. Go attacking, but go defensive. See, and when I'm playing Division One, which we're almost at 2,400 skill rating, when I'm in that rating, when I'm chilling at that rating, I constantly just attack people. And you'll be like, wait, why? Because when you're playing against good players, when you're playing against opponents that want skill rating as well, they're not looking to go defensive. They're not looking to just counterattack, especially when you're playing at high level in Division One. So let me explain this. For, for, when you're at 4,300 and going to 4,400, if you tie the game, you lose 11 points to, to, to like 24 points. You have to win every game or you lose skill rating. So with that in mind, I always stay 4, 2, 3, 1 and just keep attacking, attack, 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 and just keep attacking. And that's what I did wrong on the Road to Glory this weekend. I kept, because I played the Road to Glory games first, I kept just going like bang, 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 just trying to just outscore everyone and never going into a defensive formation once I had the leads. So I played an attacking attacking mindset of football and then switched to 4 2 3 one, um, to close up the game. Now, when I was in the 4 2 3 one, you can see I'm still attacking, but it's, it's, it's a little bit more, you know, not as aggressive attacking. It's more of just the, uh, you know, uh, 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 it's more of a balanced football game where when I'm in that 4 3 one, two, there's no nothing balanced about it, bro. We're going 100% uh, pedal to the metal, going for it all, trying to just dominate our opponent. So that's the one thing I learned very quickly into about once I took my first L on this account, that's when I realized, you know what, dude, this 4 3 one, two is great, but I need to close games out. So I now came up with my, I brought back my closeout formation. Now you can see the stress on my face, bro, because even though I out team this guy, it doesn't matter, bro. Nerves are nerves, bro. If I lose this game, we get 27 and three, no top 100, top 200. If I win this game, we get top 200. I've been chasing this for so long on this account. We did it on the RTG already. That man, it just wants to do it. Like man just wants to get it. So the nerves that were going through me was crazy. So you have that in mind, then you're playing, you know, you have that in mind. You're, matching, you're playing against somebody who, who could be a good player, not a good player, but the weekend league is just a different mindset than rivals. Do I think rivals is harder than weekend league? Yes, I do think it. I think you get matched up against harder opponents every single game. But I think the weekend league, and this is the one thing I noticed about the weekend league itself, people are just so dirty in there. And what I mean by that is people will rat it up no matter what. For example, they'll start passing around the back. And when you're playing rivals, you get that every now and again. But bro, when you're playing, when you're playing rival weekend league, people will do whatever it takes to just be a sweat and stay in the back. So when you're running that four three one two formation, right? When you're running that formation, 
you might need to switch into a 4-2-3-1 depending on the, the rat that you're playing against. Sorry for smacking the mic. If you're playing someone that you feel is kind of ratty, you need to switch into your defensive formation. If you feel, if you go for 20 minutes, you just can't break your opponent down, you now need to go into one of those like, hey man, I, I'm not going to score on you, but you're not going to score on me neither. And, and then play like that. If if that's the way the game is going, you can see here, man, this, this guy was not letting me play my game. No matter what I did, he was pushing pressure up the field. Also, you guys are going to laugh in a minute because I react in a really stupid way. And then you guys are probably going to laugh and, 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 and it might be funny to you guys, but it ain't funny to me because the goal that I miss is unbelievable. I, luckily, I'm going to get a pen, but you'll, you'll see in a minute. But anyways, guys, 4-3-1-2, is it effective? It's more than effective. It's effective if you put your left back and your right back going forward. If you don't do that, then it's a very, very dead formation. For me, at least, I'm just a real attacking player. Um, but yeah, dude, that's 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 how I did it, bros. And that's how we're going to do it on the RTG next weekend. Look, 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 look. I thought I scored. Then it was a pen. I didn't know what was going on. Listen, from this point on, I'm going to allow me to talk to you. Live reaction. You're going to hear me screaming with the goal. Guys, I love you guys. You guys are the best people in the world. I don't know how to explain it to you, man. I finally did it again. It feels good. I love you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. You can see, bro. Come on, man. Enjoy. Come on. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Please tell me I got it. Please tell me I got it. Please tell me I got it. Please tell me I got it, man. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. I choked two games in the beginning, man. Otherwise, we would have 30, bro. Oh man, we got it, bro. Come on, man. Yo, man, I've been working so hard for this, yo. I know my team is hella OP on this account, bro. I know that. Yo, facts. Facts, man. But yo, man's been grinding in that 4-3-1-2. And not just the 4-3-1-2, but also in the in the in the 4-4, four, four, the 4-2-3-1, man. Let's go, dude. Ah! Bros, it, it just feels so good. Now listen, I got one of the most overpowered teams in the game. No cap about it, bro. But it just feels good to be able to have top 200 on the road to glory and now top 200 on this account. And honestly, I just really feel like we should have 30, man. Um, but listen, I, I played a straight attacking formation and, and, and then I went defensive and I'll show you exactly what I did right now, bro. We're staying top 200, 100%. Our skill rating was way too high. Not way too high, but it was pretty high, to be honest with you. And again, man, the two games I lost. Matter of fact, I can quickly show you the two games I lost. Um, I, I don't know if they were, if they were, um, you know, high rated players. I'm, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but we got the 28 and two. So we'll go to America real quick. We'll swing by the 28, uh, man, I can't even talk, man. We will go over here to 28 and two. Uh, we should be here somewhere. 28 and two. There we go right there. So we had 2,296. Not bad for skill rating. We're staying with that. They say there's no replays available right now. Hold on. Come on, man, please. Okay. There they go. All right. So, um, we won this game. Uh, we lost on pens that that was brutal man to lose that game on pens at 18 and 1 was so brutal man We lost somebody who was 15 and 2 which is cool But at the same time, it's like bro. I just feel like we should have taken that game and we didn't it's unfortunate We won that game um, We won this game as well. We played against a goal one player. We beat that um, at the time He was goal one. I don't know exactly what he finished. This guy was a really good player. I've played him a few times um I want to show you guys the other loss because we lost somewhere. You can see that a lot of the games just dominated the game. Right here, man. We lost that 8-0 uh, to somebody who was 7-2. And, two. and um, it was just tough, man. It always sucks to lose like that. But, again, a 30-0 was right there. We could have had it and we didn't. Um, it's on me for not getting it. But at the end of the day, I want to show you exactly what I did. And I did the same thing. And this is why I'm so, like, upset with RTG because, obviously, when you have a team this big, you can play that type of football and not, not get in trouble for playing that type of football. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to explain to you is I play 4-3-1-2. And a lot of people might look at that and be like, okay, that, that's a real meta formation. But really what we're doing is we're playing it on balanced attackers. And then on my D-pad, I make them go forward on top of that. So Davies and Trent, right? They're such a big part of, of, of the team because they're constantly going up and down the field, which leaves me with just um, Desai, VBD, and Vieira defending. Mateus, Holit, Trent. Alfonso Davies, they're all attacking Messi, Ronaldo, Messi being one of my favorite players, by the way, we'll talk about him in a minute, but yeah, dude, so, you know, we're, we're, we're constantly going up and down the field, up and down the field, and that's where the RTG's lacking, right, because we got a 94 stamina left back there, and a 99 stamina left back, uh, right back there, on my RTG, I have to sub out my left back and my right back every single time, I have to sub them out, so when I sub them out, that's two players that are for defense that are getting subbed out and that's two players that we could have used up top you get what i'm saying so 
it sucks, bro, because we never have subs for up top because we waste the subs in the back. Um, on this account, it's not a big deal because Messi ain't coming out, Ronaldo not coming out, and the other Ronaldo not coming out. You see what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, I'm bringing out Chuki for Messi every now and again, but Messi, Messi's a stud. And by the way, the two games I lost, Messi wasn't there. No, one of them he was. The other one, Messi wasn't there. I was actually trying Contina. Was it Contina I was trying there? I might have been. Yeah, I think I was trying Contina out because we had just packed him. 46 games played, 36 goals, 32 assists, all from the cam position. And then Cristiano Ronaldo and Ronaldo. These Ronaldos are crazy, man. But again, my team's extremely overpowered. I'm just happy we got it because now we've got it on the rich man and we've got it on the poor man. And for me, you know, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I just want to show people that you could do it the poor way. You could do it the rich way. You could do it whichever way you want to do it, but you can achieve it. So again, two losses away from being 30 and no. I, I don't care about anything else. I just want 30 and no. We got top 200 rewards, top 200 rewards, top 100 rewards, the exact same thing, bro. The thing that I'm chasing is a 30 and 0 because I really want to hit the 30 and 0. We could have had it this weekend, but hey, man, it is what it is. This card right here is unbelievable. This card is, is, is the best center back in the game, in my opinion. He's unbelievable. And then 19 games for Mateus. He wasn't here the whole time. Mateus came in at 19. So with 19 games left, we brought Mateus. He got three goals and assists. Guys, we did it, man. I, I just, I, I, I wanted this so bad for you guys, man. Like, you guys deserve it. You're the best viewers in the world, man. You deserve this stuff, man. You deserve good content. And um, I hope this is the content that you guys wanted, bros. We got it. Top 200 once again. Um, and we'll keep going. The RTG finished in the elites. We stopped there. We had games left over, but we stopped. Um, this account, I finished it. Played a lot of weekend league. I've been playing a lot of FIFA, but I'm trying to get better results for you guys, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, man, smash that big old thumbs up, guys. I swear to you, bro. I've been going to sleep every weekend. Like, yo, I got to do it for the boys, man. Like, I've been depressed because I'm like, I got to get this top 200 for the boys. I got to, I got to, I got to. And we've done it, man. Top 200, man. We hit it again. Feels good. That's our second one of the year. We're chasing that 30, man. But we're going to get more to top 200s. We'll get more top 200s, 100%. We're starting to understand the game of an attacking way. Yo, this game's so defensive that I'm I, I'm just trying to figure out how to beat people offensively. And I, I think I figured it out in the 4-3-1-2. But again, still a lot of Division One to grind. But we hit it, boys. And I just feel good. And I'm glad I got to share that with y'all. Big old thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn your bell on, man. We, 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 we've done it, bro. I just, I'm just so happy we've done it, man. I, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah.